So let's bring you up some of Thursday's notable results in the Europa League. Uh, Rangers beaten by Lyon. Uh, Leicester City taking on Napoli. That one finished 2-2. West Ham beat Dinamo Zagreb. That was a comeback from Real Betis against Celtic. And uh, we're underway. Galatasaray with a 1-0 win over Lazio as well. Uh, Stevie and Don are joining us now. Ooh. Oh, look at them. It's like a battle of the background. Oh. Who, who's wins, <laughs> Alex? Who's, who's got more wood shelving going on? <laughs> Don's looks a bit wonky, doesn't it? What's that? Don's looks a bit wonky. Well, uh, maybe Does the it? cameras. <laughs> the camera, maybe. It's, what? Did you just say wonky? Uh, wonky. Okay. I do not know what that means, well, but yes, it kind of looks wonky. Lopsided. Yeah. Okay. Lopsided. All right. Oh, right. gosh. Britisms. All right. <laughs> uh, let's talk, uh, Don. Declan Rice, West Ham beating Zagreb 2-0. Tell me. He was immense. I don't know if you've seen my Twitter handle tonight, Kay, but I am uh, I'm putting it out there. I watched Jude Bellingham in the Champions League this week, and he's incredible alongside Erlen Haaland. And I mentioned about them two, their price tags being close to £100 million. I would be stunned if Declan Rice doesn't come into that conversation because... His first European game proper for West Ham tonight, and he absolutely ran the show. He scored the second goal. Antonio got West Ham's first. Difficult away place to go in Zagreb. It could have been a tricky tie, um, but Declan Rice was incredible. I was at West Ham with Michael Carrick for four years, and I trained with Michael every single day, and I knew he was going to go right to the very top. And I see it in exactly the same in Declan Rice. I watch him play. He's versatile. He can play in multiple, multiple positions in midfield. He can play as a six. He can play as an ace. West Ham were far too good for Zagreb, so that's a great win for them. But as I said, Declan Rice is just getting better with every single game. Stevie, I know you had your eyes on other games tonight, but what are your thoughts on Declan Rice as a player? Uh, I'm with Don. You know, Frank, uh, Frank and I have been going back and forward about how he thinks that the PSG, the one piece of the puzzle they're missing uh, is, a, is a canty type of player. Um, and Declan Rice, I think, is absolutely the, the, of the same mould. He absolutely, 100%, holds that West Ham side together, uh, wins the ball back, gives it, but has more than just the defensive side of the game. So... I'm with Don. Declan Rice is going to one of the top teams in the world, no question. Uh, Stevie, I'll stick with you, though. The game you were watching, Leicester City taking on Napoli, it finished 2-2. What are your takeaways from this one? Oh, Leicester City defending against Napoli, I think you meant. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. Yeah, Leicester started well. They got the goal from Jose Perez. But after that, I mean, the rest of the first half was just an absolute bombardment in Leicester's penalty box. I mean, Schmeichel turns out, in my opinion, man of the match for Leicester. That tells you all you need to know. Uh, and the fact that this game ends 2-2, Leicester were 2-0 up. I mean, incredibly, Harvey Bunch put them 2-0 up after about 65 minutes. And I'm thinking, I'm scratching my head going, how is this possible? But deservedly so, Napoli came back. Uh, also, men got in two goals. Uh, and actually, Napoli were unlucky not to go and get another one. Um, yes, you can see that Leicester had some players out. Sun Shu and Tillerman uh, came in at half-time. Uh, Vardy came on. James Madison came on. But, my goodness, you talk about a football lesson. And Leicester City were, were at the final whistle thanking the lucky stars that they actually got something from this game. Uh, Don, did you have an eye on that game too? I did. I watched it. It was incredible, Kay. And I think Napoli might have been a little bit stunned at the atmosphere at the King Power because the, the fans and the stadium and the noise, it was electric. And Leicester started really well. But I was with Stevie. I was watching the game thinking, how on earth had Leicester got themselves 2-0 up here when every couple of minutes, Napoli were bombarding Schmeichel with shots. Uh, Osman was missing chances. Insignia was missing chances. They were creating chances from midfield. I think in the end, Napoli had 22 attempts. And then Osman in the second half scored a couple of goals. And it's one of them games where I think when you analyse it, if you're Brendan Rodgers, you'll analyse it tomorrow morning, you'll think, we probably could have won that. And then you really look at the tape and you watch it over and over again, you think, actually, we were lucky to draw that because Napoli were by far the better of the sides. Uh, we just heard your praise for Declan Rice, Don. What about Victor Osiman? What a player he is, eh? Oh, he's incredible. I commentated on him about 18 months ago and he's quite raw and he got his um, 70 million 
uh, dollar move or, or euro move and he looks a real player. He's a little bit raw. I, I think if you see some of the chances that he missed in the first half, you could see the confidence just start to drain out of him. But what he is, he's a character because he, he doesn't let his head drop. He keeps on making the same runs. So he's, he's sure of himself. He backs himself even when he misses chances. He doesn't then come short. You see strikers come short when they're losing confidence in front of goal. They come out the 18-yard box. He doesn't. He makes the right runs. He runs in behind. His touch is good. He's very, very good in the A. Second goal, if you've seen it, he hung in the air for so long. Uh, and a little dink finish for the first goal. So, Nappy have got a proper player there. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.